Hey, this is Zomi and Chef Olivier. We're at the Jirabala kitchen. They came from Australia, Poland, the US and the UK. Their mission, to feed people, one of the simplest. In Gaza, one of the hardest and most dangerous. Last night, Israeli airstrikes hit their convoy, clearly marked with the charity logo of the world's central kitchen. Seven people killed, including three British nationals. Colleagues, distraught, identified their bodies. These are the people who brought the aid from the sea, he says. They're all dead, all of them. The workers had been unloading a second shipment of aid brought in to Gaza by sea. They were travelling back from the warehouse in Deir Abala when their convoy was hit. Their vehicles more than a mile apart. It was a direct hit. They tried to treat some of them and put them in another car in front, but they shelled the car. This is the situation here. Anyone who brings it to Gaza is at risk of shelling and death. The remains of their convoy tell the story. Three vehicles, each struck separately, one straight through the logo that was meant to protect them. A sustained and targeted attack. Unfortunately, in the past day there was a tragic event in which our forces unintentionally harmed non-combatants in the Gaza Strip. This happens in the war. We are conducting a thorough inquiry and we are in contact with the governments. We will do everything to prevent the recurrence. Six months into this war, the questions around the killing of civilians are getting sharper. This was a clearly marked aid convoy, passing through an area without heavy fighting under Israeli control. Aid agencies say coordinating safe passage with the Israeli army in Gaza is cumbersome and time consuming. But it's this kind of event that it's designed to avoid. The UN here says it's been warning about something like this for months. We have got people in these very, very dangerous situations moving around without any comms between the different groups of different teams. And then, you know, last night, for example, you know that there was telephone calls coming from World Central Kitchen trying to make connections, and it just wasn't possible. So you're moving around Gaza, yeah. no communication between teams? No. Why not? Well, because uh, the Israeli says we shouldn't have communications equipment, because if they do, they could actually be taken by Hamas and used by Hamas. I think it's a poor excuse. The first of the victims was buried today, a local man called Saif Abu Taha. Gaza, already a byword for grief, is tonight mourning those who came to save lives and paid with their own. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Jerusalem.